In the previous video, we have finished implementing the corridor first approach to procedural generation of our dungeon. Now, in this video, let's start implementing the binary space partitioning algorithm. So, as you might recall, the binary space partitioning is used to split a big area into smaller parts that we can use to generate rooms at those, uh, in those spaces. So, this is what we are going to implement. Now, binary space partitioning is used in the room first algorithm. So, we are going to first start by implementing the binary space partitioning itself. And to do this, let's go to scripts folder and let's open up our procedural generation algorithms script. Okay. Let's slide it down uh, at the end of our script and let's create a new public static. A method that will return a list but this time we are going to use bounce int uh, I think it is a struct we can take a look at the documentation in unity documentation and indeed this is a struct and this represents a bounding box so we, this is perfect for our room representation because we can represent a bounding area by two points so the starting point and an end point or by three points if we want to have a 3d bounding box so instead of creating a custom class we are going to use this bounds int to represent our areas for the rooms and our general area that we want to populate with rooms okay let's go back to visual studio so we are going to return a list of bounds int structs and let's call it binary space partitioning Okay, and as parameters for it, we are going to pass bounds int, which is the general space that we will declare that we want to split. So space to split. And we are going to pass int, which will be the minimum width. And we are going to pass int, which will be the minimum height. And as you might recall, the binary space partitioning works like we have a space to split and we split it into rooms and we want to create rooms that are of the minimum width and minimum height. Uh, the binary space partitioning uh, is usually used through creation of a tree structure. Since we do not care about the structure or, or how the split was performed, we are going to use a simple Q instead. So let's type Q. It will be a queue of bounds int and let's call it rooms queue equals new queue. We are going to take a room from this queue and if we can, we are going to split it and we are going to save the result in a list of bounds int and this will be the rooms list which we are, we are going to return equals new list. Now, First of all, we want to enqueue our space to split. So rooms q dot nq, and we are going to pass space uh, to split. And if you are not familiar with how q works, q is a data structure, and this works like a q in a, for example, shop. So when you stand in a queue, the first person that goes in goes out. Basically, we when we dequeue the object, we are going to remove it from the queue. So we do not worry to, that we need to remove the objects that we enqueue. They are automatically added and removed from our queue. So what we are going to do is implement a while loop. While our rooms queue dot count is greater than zero. So if we have rooms to split, we are going to perform the binary space partitioning and try to split those rooms. So we are going to type var room equals room q dot dq so we have our room to split and now we are going to perform a couple of steps first of all we will want to discard rooms that are too small for the done, uh, room generation so we are going to check if our room dot size which represents the total size of our bounding box so this is the size of our space that we want to split if the size y which is the width of our room is greater or equal to min 
width oh sorry we mean height so this is the height and our room dot size dot x which is the width is greater or equal to mean width this means that this space can contain a room or can be split into multiple rooms so if it is true then first of all we want to select a random uh, way to split the room and we consider that we can split the room horizontally uh, or vertically so if we select a random dot value which gives us a value from 0 to 1 if the value is less than 0.5 then we will want to uh, for example split the room horizontally else we are going to split it vertically but we are going to tweak the algorithm a bit so if we cannot split it horizontally we are going to simply split it vertically and otherwise if we cannot split it vertically we are going to split it horizontally this algorithm can be tweaked quite a bit so for now in first if statement we want to check if we can split horizontally so if our room dot size dot y which is the height of a space that we want to split if it is greater or equal to our mean height times two which means that if it uh, is of size that it can contain two rooms and can have some space left then we know that we can split it horizontally so let's type split horizontally and we want to give it a min width min height and we want to give it our room q and our room which is which contains all the parameters and let's alt end on this and generate this method here else if our room dot size so if we cannot split it horizontally we want to check if we can split it vertically just to make sure that we create some rooms because this is the whole point of using this algorithm so if this is greater than min width times two then we are going to split it vertically so let's copy the same method uh, the split horizontally and change the name to split vertically and alt enter and make sure that you select generate not rename but generate so this method will split it vertically and else there might be a case when there is a, the space cannot be split so we want want to ch check if our room dot size dot x is greater or equal still of minimum width and room dot size dot y is greater than minimum height and i have forgotten to add equal here this means that the area cannot be split but it can contain a room and this will mean that we can easily add it to our room list so room list add our room and since we are not enqueuing it again to our queue it will not be uh, taken into consideration for another split and this random value only allows us to prefer one of the splits although i want to ensure that we can create actually rooms and this is it for the value of uh, less than 0.5f and this will ensure that we create a room be it, uh, be it horizontally or vertically we could remove this but it would give us a less random split since we would always select horizontal split first and then only vertically uh, split vertically the rooms so this is why we have this random value because if the random value is greater than 0.5 we can copy this code paste it below but instead of first checking the horizontal split we are going to cut it out the first if statement remove the else and paste it in the uh, center so else paste the if statement so first of all uh, we are going to check if we can split the room vertically so this will uh, a bit randomize the results that we have and we are going to repeat the process if we cannot split it vertically we are going to split it horizontally if we cannot do that as well we are going to ensure that we add to our rooms list this room as the room to create so again at the end we will need to return our rooms list so return our rooms list but we still have to implement the vertical split and horizontal split 
And I think we are going to do this in the next video since it will take some time to explain how we are going to split those rooms uh, in the vertical and horizontal manner. So see you in the next video.